I'm wondering what you thought of, what you think of the Eurozone crisis, uh, what's happening with the Euro right now? Uh, the whole thing was a misconstruction from day one. Many of us warned that you could not put Greece and Germany together in the same economic and monetary union, uh, and I'm afraid those chickens are now coming home to roost. What is being done in the name of propping up the Eurozone is actually making things far worse. I think we might have to stop those. No. Um, yeah, so uh, Germany and uh, Greece. From the start, the whole thing was a misconstruction. Never, ever could Greece and Germany work together in the same economic and monetary union. That was never going to happen. Many of us predicted it. Those chickens are now coming home to roost. But what is now being done in the name of keeping the Eurozone going is a disaster for both the North and the South of Europe. The Southern European states are now stuck inside an economic prison of the Euro. Uh, their democracy has been stripped from them. They're taking to the streets, and if we're not careful, they'll literally be violent revolution. And in the north of Europe, who, who've, got, who've got debt problems anyway, countries like France, by participating in this, are threatened with losing their triple A credit rating. This is not working for anybody. I can't believe that David Cameron is the most enthusiastic cheerleader for them all giving up democracy totally and pushing on to a full political union. What are we doing? Cameron said in the Commons the other day that when your neighbour's house is on fire, you should help them. He's throwing petrol on it. So do you think that we should be splitting from the euro, uh, away from the eurozone? Well, I think the trouble is that as the eurozone step by step moves towards that full political union, we, as still as full members of the EU, will be dragged in its wake one proposal that's come forward is a financial transaction tax, which would be devastating for the City of London. You, you know, what I'm told, now is not the time, because of the crisis, for us to talk about Britain's relationship with the EU. I would say it couldn't ever be a better time for us to say, look, guys, we're going to have a free trade deal with you. We're going to cooperate with you. We're going to have reciprocal deals on student exchanges and foreign workers. We'll do all of those things. But actually, do you know what? We'd rather govern our own country. So, and... Um We've just had it announced that there's been a 12% drop overall in uni applications mm. this year. And uh, were you opposed to the cuts in the imposed on the universities? Well, I've been experience? opposed. I have been opposed from the start to this crackpot target of 50% of youngsters that should go to university. You know, when I left school, it wasn't that long ago, it was 12%. Uh, you know, perhaps 25% should be going. Too many people have been encouraged to go to university who frankly are not academics, to get degrees that are not helping them one bit in the workplace. Far better to send fewer people and not to charge them, because my worry now is that you'll get people who come from families on relatively low incomes who are bright and should be going to university, who won't be going because they're terrified of racking up all those debts. And, you know, I was lucky. I was one of the 7% that went to a private school in this country. So, you know, I was very fortunate. But we ought to remember that social mobility in Britain is lower now than it was 50 years ago. It's the public schools, it's those that can afford universities who are getting the best jobs, and too often, bright kids from poor backgrounds are not achieving their best. Do you think there should be like a bigger um, focus on more practical Very much so. Things very much. It, it, it's a very odd thing in this country, but we sneer and we look down at people. Such as our apprenticeships. It, well, so. Exactly. You know, I mean, if in Germany, age 15 or 16, your son or daughter says, I want to become an interior designer, I want to become a carpenter, you say, fantastic, that's great. We say, oh, no. You've got to go and get a degree. <laughs> you know, we've become very snobby about trades, and it's stupid. So you think we've gotten a bit too obsessed with degrees and just this bit of yes. paper, which is leading to... As Maureen Lippmann called them, ologies. You know, and yes, we have. Yes, we have. I want to encourage skills, trades, apprenticeships. I do not support school leaving age going up to a mandatory 18. I think that's also a mistake. And I want fewer people to go to university, but those that have achieved 
the right academic level to continue, and I don't want them coming out with debts, and therefore I don't want people being put off from going who ought to be going. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.